Uh, listen to this. It may seem too soon to be thinking about winter and the wardrobe and getting everything ready, right? Mm -hmm. it may seem too soon. Yeah. Scarves, hats, mittens. Right. All I kinds love of stuff winter here. accessories, especially when they're handmade. At Tie One On for Brain Cancer, you can purchase these items and support brain cancer research and awareness. Isn't this cute? Yeah, Mary Semp, oh. she's she's not just the founder of Tie One On for Brain Cancer. She's also a brain cancer survivor. Mm -hmm. Mary, good to see you. Thanks good for coming back. You too. Oh, thank well, you. And you brought you brought all the stuff. You brought all the goods in today. We'll get to some of this stuff, but yes. can we can you share your story with us? Because you, you were diagnosed with brain cancer. How long has it been now? I was diagnosed in 2003. It was um, I was having a, a sinus CAT scan, and mm -hmm. basically from there they said, "Hmm, we see something kind of interesting back here." What uh, were your symptoms? Did I, I really I didn't have any symptoms at all. It just you because of the it was because sinuses. of the cat. It was sinuses. Yeah. It, it had nothing nothing, had nothing to, to do, do with the, the sinuses. It yeah. had nothing to do with the cancer. It just but was just an accidental find and. Uh, it was great that they caught it early. It really right. gave me plenty of time to, mm. to figure out what I was going to do for treatment. And they, they just monitored it for several years. And then in 2008 uh, and 2009, I did chemo and radiation. That's the only time you will be thankful for sinus problems. Exactly. Right? Right. Right. I mean, if it wasn't for that, that scan, you wouldn't have detected it. It's amazing it, how stuff can come up like that. You would never, you'd never know. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. It would have taken years for mm -hmm. me to have symptoms. So you came up with this idea, Ty went on for brain cancer, and why this and how did it get started? Well, I, I think that this probably affects a lot of, of patients who have had chemotherapy, but I was just always cold through mm -hmm. treatment mm -hmm. and then for years after. And so one winter day, I thought, man, I'm so happy that I have this scarf on, I'm freezing. And then the idea just kind of popped in my head, like, hey, everybody needs a scarf, yeah. Yeah. we're in Nebraska. Right. Uh, so it just kind of developed from there and, and we're able to get donations from all over the country. Well, look at this collection right here of the hats and scarves. Some are fun, some are gorgeous. Handmade um, items. They're all handmade, yeah, and you've got the logo. Yes. Inside of each item. I don't know, that one's not in there yet, but you do have it in here somewhere. We do Mary. have it in there. They, here. They I exist. know there's one on this one. Oh, there you go. There you go, right here. So that logo is going to be stitched into all the items. Every item has, has it stitched in, and um, the, the, we have a lot of fun with our stitching parties, mm -hmm. even. Uh, we have support from all over the community for all of the different parts and pieces that, that make this happen. And they're all handmade. I mean, handmade. these are gorgeous, and it goes with this hat here. I already have a hat on that I had to, you know, put my hair just right, so otherwise I would put it on. But they're gorgeous items, and like you said, I mean, everyone going through this, imagine, you know, in winter, all you're already cold, and then you bring on the windshield and stuff like that, and everyone deserves to be warm, so it's a fantastic idea. Where do the, where do the items come from? How, how do you reach out to people that know how to, manu how to, how to make this stuff? It's, and send it in. I was lucky enough early on to um, connect with the Nebraska Knit and Crochet Guild. Mm -hmm. So we got we get a lot of gorgeous items from them. Family members um, do a lot of knitting and crocheting. Uh, people just as they see things on our Facebook page or learn about us from uh, the Morning Blend, mm -hmm. start <laughs> start <laughs> donating items to us. So. Uh, it, it really comes from, from all over. Well, we uh, really like to support this event. Um, and you, you had a very lucky go at this, uh, but you did lose some friends. And I know that's a tough subject, but do you mind sharing that with us? Sure, sure. I've lost a number of friends and uh, at early ages, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're in their 30s and uh, they had a, li a lot of life mm -hmm. left to live. Um, but we have to remember that those are just a few of the 17,000 uh, people who die of brain, primary brain cancer each year. And that's why we really need to do more research. Yeah, and well, every single penny raised from this goes yeah. to, to the organization. Yes. And what do you do with the money? We cover all of our own costs because we want to make sure that every penny that people spend um, goes to the National Brain Tumor Society. So what they do is try to focus on research for additional treatments. There's only been four uh, FDA approved treatments and uh, one kind of mechanical treatment uh, in the last 30 years that have been approved. Wow. And we need more, right. we need to figure out more. Well, before we go we're running out of time, but I just want to point this out. This is also the leading cause of cancer deaths in kids. It is. Too. It so is. there's something to think about. Tie went on for brain cancer. It's the big sale. It is this Friday, 6 to 9 p.m. You want everybody to come. It's at the Artist Cooperative Gallery. It's right down in the old Correct. market. Correct. We've got beer from Farnham House. We've got wine. We've got 
uh, you name it, food, mm -hmm. fun. That's all you need, drinks, food, drinks, and, food fun. and fun. I'm very Come partial, very partial to this guy. Who, who made this one, do you know? So My cute. sister. Really? I love yeah. your sister. That's adorable. Yes. This is fantastic. Yes, well, thank it. you so much. Uh, and thank for you sharing guys. our yeah. story and it's as great well. to see you again. Yes. Me too. Uh,